Hey everybody, welcome back to a new video. A lot of the newer power stations support a uninterrupted power supply or UPS mode, but how fast did they actually cut over to backup power? Now in order to answer that question, I recently purchased this oscilloscope that allows me to measure the cut over time while testing the UPS. Now this is the EcoFlow Delta 2 Max. This was originally released with a UPS cut over time of 30 milliseconds, which is quite slow. Now EcoFlow just released a new firmware update for this to drop it down to 20 milliseconds or less. So I'm really excited to test this out. Now I actually have a bunch of power stations that support UPS functionality. So why stop at just testing the EcoFlow? I also want to test the Jackery, Ocotel, Blue Eddy, Ugreen, and Anchor. These are all popular 2000 watt hour power stations. So let's see which one is the fastest. And also a shout out to my lifetime table here. This thing is a beast. It is carrying all this weight and it has not collapsed. Now this is the setup that we'll be testing each power station with. I have a small heater plugged into the AC inverter. So we'll have the AC inverter enabled with a consistent load on each power station. I then have the oscilloscope connected up to the AC inverter using these probes. Yes, there's live power right here. I hope I don't touch it. On the back of the power station, I'll be charging it via AC wall power and I'll have this heavy duty inline power switch so I can instantly toggle off the AC charging. The power station will swap over to battery backup in which I will record the swap over time. So each setup should be identical. So we should see actual performance between each one of these models. Now we're gonna go ahead and start testing with this anchor power station. We're gonna go in alphabetical order. So let's get started. So breaking down the results for the Anchor F2000 power station, I tested three individual times. The first test results were 15.5 milliseconds. The second test came out with 14.5 milliseconds, and the third and final test was 15.5 milliseconds. So adding those up and dividing by three, the average cutover time is 15.1 milliseconds on the Anchor F2000. Now looking at the actual power swap over, you can see it's very clean. There's not much distortion on the sine wave as it resumes power from the inverter. Moving along to the Blue Eddy AC200L, the first test was 13.3 milliseconds, the second test was 14.6 milliseconds, and the final test was 13.6 milliseconds. If we add those up and divide it, the average is 13.8 milliseconds, so a little bit faster than the Anchor F2000. However, looking at the power swap over, you can see that it's a bit distorted, and as it swaps over, you get a low and high peak of power on the sine wave. Now I was excited to see how the EcoFlow Delta 2 Max would perform with the new firmware update. So these were the results of the test. The first test was 16.5 milliseconds. The second test was 18.2 milliseconds. And the third test was 17.8 milliseconds. So if we add those up and divide them out, the average is 17.5 milliseconds. So a little bit slower than the other models that we've tested. But looking at the sine wave swap over, you can see the overall sine wave is fairly decent as it resumes power on the AC inverter. Now moving along to the next power station, the Jackery Explorer 2000 Plus with lithium iron phosphate batteries. The first test results were 12.4 milliseconds. The second test was 13.3 milliseconds. And the final and third test was 12.8 milliseconds. Averaging those out, it comes out to be 12.8 milliseconds. Now note that the sine wave is a bit distorted after it swaps over from wall power. So not as clean as some of the other models that we've tested. Now the cheapest power station out of the bunch that we're testing here is the Ocotel P2001. This was one of the first power stations that had a built-in UPS mode. The first test, the results were 11.3 milliseconds. The second test came out to be 12 milliseconds exactly. And the third test was 13.9 milliseconds. And if we average those together, it's 12.4 milliseconds. Now breaking down the results of the sine wave swap over, you can see it's clean and fairly quick. Now the final power station that we'll be testing here is the Ugreen Power Home 2200. Now the first results were 10.1 milliseconds. The second test results were 9.6 milliseconds. And the third results were 9.9 .9 milliseconds. If we average those out, comes out to be 9.8 milliseconds or the fastest UPS mode that we've tested today. Now looking at the power swap over, I did notice that it was clean and fast and there was no distortion on the inverter as it swapped over. Okay guys, that was a ton of information. So what I wanna do is take all the average numbers and put them together in a graph so we can visually see the differences between each power station. Now I've gone ahead and arranged the times from the shortest cutover time to the longest cutover time. So we have the Ugreen at the best time at 9.8 milliseconds. We have the Ocotel at 12.4, the Jackery at 12.8, the Blue Eddy at 13.8, the Anchor at 15.1, and lastly, the EcoFlow at 17.5. 
Now guys, I'm a bit surprised by the results from each one of these power stations because each one is advertised to have a cutover time of 20 milliseconds. I was expecting to get closer to that number, but you can see that each one performed better than that. Now, how do we choose which one is the best? Well, I think we can break that down into two different categories. First of all, which one has the fastest swap over time? And also, which one has the cleanest transition from wall power to inverter power? And if we look at all the results from the previous test, we can see that the Ugreen did the best there. It had the fastest and the cleanest swap over. Well guys, this was a super fun and informative video and I've really enjoyed learning how to use that new oscilloscope. So anybody that supported the channel in the past, that device was really expensive. So either you've purchased things through affiliate links or use my discount codes or even you know become a channel member. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. It allows me to do testing videos like this. Now I'd love to get your guys' feedback. What other videos would you recommend for testing these power stations, solar panels, batteries? What would you guys like to see? I'm all ears for future content because I know that you guys wanna see certain things, so let me know. Now, if you guys like the video, please smash the thumbs up button so YouTube knows to recommend it out to other people. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you guys in the next video.